and welcome to the Snowcast with Lizzie Crookenden. I'm Abby Lee. And coming up in the programme this week. We've got an exclusive sneak preview of Ski and Board's interview with Olympic legend Eddie the Eagle Edwards. James Cove checks out the Montreux Jazz Festival on the shore of Lake Geneva. And the ski club's Al Morgan competes alongside Ski Sunday presenter Graham Bell in the Banana Man Triathlon. Now, the historic town of Montreux in Switzerland comes alive in July for its jazz festival, which has been going for 42 years. James Cove paid a visit and found that as well as hosting a wide selection of jazz artists, the festival also attracts big names from the rock and pop world. This year it was Deep Purple who closed their act with Smoke on the Water, and it turns out that Freddie Mercury even lived in the area. James is writing a blog about his summer travels in the Alps, which you can read in the news section on skiclub.co.uk. Tour operator Crystal released their annual report last week which says that the British ski industry is still going strong. Figures show that during the 2007-08 season the total ski market grew by 3% and the independent travel sector also grew, accounting for over 300,000 skiers. Also, France continues to be the most popular country for Brits to ski in, taking nearly 40% of holidaymakers last season. However, the report suggests that bookings for next season could be affected by the current economic climate. Rising fuel costs, exchange rate pressures, the late Easter and having only one half term week across the UK could affect families and those on a budget. You can read the full report in the features section on skiclub.co.uk. And the Ski Club also produces its own independent report called the Snow Sports Analysis and that's out in October so make sure you look out for it on our website. And last weekend saw BBC Ski Sunday presenter Graham Bell take part in the Banana Man Triathlon in Eton. He competed alongside the ski club's Alan Morgan and NATO's founder Ian Martin. Each team had to complete an 800 metre swim, a 30 kilometre bike ride and a 7.5 kilometre run. Everyone put in a superb effort and the men's team finished an impressive sixth out of 43 teams competing. In the women's category, ex-mogul team skier Kim Clark Kate Kidger and Karin Hume came in a fantastic second overall in the female team category. So well done to Al. And now on to our snow reports and starting off in Austria and what a brilliant way to start snow reports because it's been snowing all over Austria last weekend and it does mean that the Caprun Glacier, its peace depth has risen by nearly 20%, sorry not percent, centimetres. So it's now at 87 centimetres on the upper slopes, great news for Caprun and more snow is expected on Wednesday today and it does mean that it is a little windy as well so do check the lift operations before you head up. France is predominantly sunny and gorgeous weather and it's going to last the whole weekend so Val d'Isère, Tien and Dis Alps are all doing very well. Just one aside, the Dis Alp um, piece steps has dropped to 140 centimetres but it's only because the resort reassessed their piece steps so it's not because of anything drastic happening to the snow. In Switzerland, same again as Sassfei and Zermel, it looks lovely and sunny over there for the whole weekend. Sassfei had a light dusting last weekend which has freshened up the piece a bit so it looks very nice there. They've got four pieces open and the park's open as well so the half pipe rails and kickers are all there to have a go on. In Italy, it's a lovely summer skiing at Trevinia. It looks very nice there. Do get out early for the best conditions. And in Valsinales, the weather has improved immensely. So it's going to be a lovely summer, sunny weekend ahead in Valsinales. And moving over to North America, in Canada, it's the last weekend of summer skiing at the Blackcomb Glacier in Whistler. It's going to close on the 27th of July. So make sure if you are there, make the most of it this week because it's the last week. And in the USA, Timberline, as usual, is lovely, great skiing and sunny. So near perfect summer skiing there. Well, moving down to the very wintry Australia, it's really been snowing this week and things are really hotting up. So it's a great time to head down there. Mount Hotton has had amazing 55 centimetres in the last seven days. And just behind them, Falls Creek has had 50 centimetres. It is really cold and windy at Falls Creek. So if you're there, remember to wrap up well before heading up the hill. And Threadbo, they've had some snow this week, which has enabled them to open the golf course bowl for the first time this season. So it's really kicking off now. Um, the same is true for New Zealand. Heavy snow has caused um, a couple of resorts in the South Island to close on Wednesday. They're Rainbow and Mount Dobson. Hopefully the snow will stop, which is an odd thing to say, and they'll be able to reopen soon. Um, Treble Cone is also looking great, and they're boasting that they've got excellent on and off tra trail conditions. So it's definitely one to head for. 
If you're on the North Island, Torreira is closed on Wednesday due to the poor weather. It's snowy and very windy there. Um, nearby Whakapapa is open, but due to the strong winds, they've only got the lower mountain open. And so you definitely, if you're over there, head for that resort. Chile, at last, all the resorts that Ski Club report on are open. Chapa Verde opened at the weekend. They've had a bit of snow since then and three pieces are open, so the season is starting slowly. Um, but definitely the three valleys are looking the best. La Parva has got an amazing piece step and the conditions across all three resorts are looking great. Argentina has also had snow. It just seems that it won't stop snowing in the Southern Hemisphere at the moment. Um, Chapelco, unfortunately, due, has only got one piece open um, on Wednesday. The piece depths aren't that great there. But the other resorts of Cara Catedral and Las Lianas are looking excellent. So definitely Southern Hemisphere is the place to be. Brilliant snow report this week. Um, and now on to Ski TV next week. Perfect for these climate conscious times, we've got another fun little film from Billy and Willie on how to save energy in resort. Finally, Ski and Board's editor Arnie Wilson caught up with Eddie the Eagle at his home in Gloucestershire to see what he's been up to since the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. Uh, well, I still do. I'm amazed that I'm as busy as I am, and it's been 20 years since Calgary. Uh, I still do a lot of PR work and, uh, you know, speaking and TV and radio work and that kind of thing. And then when I'm not busy doing that, uh, I've gone back to my old job as a builder and plasterer. I say for me getting to those Olympic Games was my gold medal and people in the street loved what happened and loved the whole thing about Eddie the Eagle and uh, the, the things that I was portraying. For me, you know, I was a true Olympian, a true amateur sportsman and uh, uh, that's what they liked about me. They liked the, the, the thing that I was portraying um, and they liked the fact that I was promoting skiing and ski jumping. And there will be a full interview with Eddie in Ski and Board's October issue which will be out in mid-September so you must watch out for that. And so that's it for this week's show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be seeing you next week. Don't forget to keep logging on to skiclub.co.uk for all the latest news on our website. Until then, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye-bye.